Hi guys, I am here to demonstrate our lesson on Paul this week with an object lesson. Uh, so as we've been spending the whole year learning about him and his many adventures, um, in which we saw him travel the world proclaiming the gospel, we saw the way God did so many mighty things in his life when he sent him on his missionary journeys. We saw, um, we saw miraculous healings. Um, we saw him um, meet all sorts of new people like Lydia who had an impact on her city. We saw him have an impact on Timothy, on Silas. We saw him plant churches in um, Ephesus and um, all over the world. We saw him move and by the power of the Holy Spirit, God took him on so many adventures. He busted out of jail with singing. Um, well, really, he didn't leave the jail. He uh, the earthquake came after he and Silas were praising the Lord and they stayed and the whole jailer's family came to the Lord. Just so many people were impacted by Paul. Uh, and so sometimes we might be left with some questions about, um, well, where do I fit in um, to this equation? Where, where does God want me um, to go? And sometimes we might be tempted to think, well, I'm just a tiny little person. I can't go all over the world like Paul. I'm just stuck right here at home. Especially right now, we're literally stuck at home. Um, but that's not what God calls us to do. And that's not those aren't his thoughts that he wants us to think. God asks us to keep our eyes on Jesus. And he asks us to um, be in tune with the Holy Spirit and obey him. So that might look differently um, for each of us because God's going to tell us um, and call us to different things. So for me, um, it might mean um, telling people in my neighborhood about the Lord. Um, it might mean um, obeying when he tells me to pray for someone that I see that is sick. It might mean um, obeying when I, when I um, am supposed to tell someone um, that I work with about Jesus that doesn't know him or Or he might tell someone else um, to do the same thing in their neighborhood and at their job. And then that person also might be called to move away. Um, and some of us will go across the globe and we'll do amazing um, mission trips and adventures over there. But uh, no matter where we are, where we're standing between our own two feet is the mission field that God has called us to. And we can honor and obey him uh, and and have a, a ministry right where we are, no matter what. Um, so each of us walking out the gospel um, in, in our own places um, can accomplish a little bit for the Lord. Um, but he doesn't tell us to do it in our own power. Um, nothing that Paul did as far as um, the miraculous um, he did in his own power the Holy Spirit um, showed up and that's what happens um, God partners with us and he is the one that takes our little acts of obedience and turns them into something truly amazing um, he's just supernatural he can do the impossible and our small steps of obedience can change the world and that's what God calls us to. He doesn't call us to do it on our own strength. He wants us to partner with him and that is how uh, the gospel can be fulfilled. That is how we can um, be world changers. Isn't it much more beautiful and much more amazing uh, when we partner with the Holy Spirit and let God do his thing.